An audit of the Panorama Public Health IT system. As a nonpartisan, independent auditor of the Legislative Assembly, the Auditor General audits the government reporting entity. This consists of ministries, crown corporations, and other government organizations such as universities, colleges, school districts, health authorities, and similar organizations that are controlled by or accountable to the provincial government. The Office of the Auditor General serves the people of British Columbia and their elected representatives by conducting independent audits and advising on how well government is managing its responsibilities and resources. Under the Auditor General Act, the Auditor General conducts and reports on both financial audits and performance or value for money audits. This graphic from page 7 of the report summarizes some of the report highlights. A complex national IT system such as Panorama is undoubtedly a challenge to build and implement. At the time of our audit, Panorama was 420% over budget, five years late, and did not meet expectations. Years of delay means that Panorama may already be outdated. So far, Panorama has cost the province at least $115 million, and annual maintenance costs are approximately $14 million. As well, the system contains thousands of defects, with new defects being discovered regularly. The story of Panorama began after the SARS pandemic hit Canada in early 2003. Following this, and after an independent review, the federal government directed the development of a national system to manage infectious disease outbreaks. This project was Panorama. Panorama was intended primarily to be a nationwide system that would provide real-time support for managing infectious disease outbreaks, like SARS and avian flu. The other main reason for Panorama was to record all infectious disease cases in the province for the BC Centre for Disease Control and manage patients' individual cases for certain types of diseases. Beyond infectious diseases, Panorama was designed for other functions to support public health, such as vaccine inventory across the provinces and recording things like immunizations in babies and kids and parent-baby visits. The BC Ministry of Health led and managed the National Panorama Project on behalf of all provinces and territories, while the provincial implementation focused on customizing and implementing modules specific to the needs of each province. In BC, Panorama supports public health functions such as family health, immunization, communicable disease management, and outbreak management. The Panorama initiative to build a system for all Canadian provinces and territories began in 2004, with expected completion by 2007. However, it was completed in 2010 at a cost of $66 million, almost $30 million over budget. In 2009, as IBM was building the national system, the BC government also contracted IBM to implement the system in BC. In early 2011, the Office of the Auditor General of BC surveyed a number of BC's eHealth IT systems to understand project progress and issues. One of these systems was Panorama. At that time, we briefed the Ministry of Health on our concerns about how the Ministry was managing the Panorama project. But, because the implementation was just getting underway, we decided not to audit Panorama at that time. Instead, we gave the Ministry three years to work through the issues. However, this audit found that the expected improvements did not happen. Panorama has been plagued with defects from the start. BC was responsible for accepting Panorama from IBM, that is, verifying that it met all contractual terms, on behalf of all Canadian jurisdictions. The Ministry relied heavily on IBM to test the final product which is an unusual practice that resulted in the Ministry accepting a deficient system with thousands of defects. At the time of acceptance, Panorama contained almost 1,200 defects. Since its deployment in 2011, over 11,000 more defects have been discovered. Today, approximately 2,500 defects continue to affect users, and new defects are discovered regularly. BC's version of Panorama is prone to errors. 
Slow performance and unexpected system outages means that the system cannot always provide clinicians with complete and accurate patient information when they need it. So far, Panorama is not the IT solution that the Ministry of Health expected for public health. Panorama was supposed to be deployed across Canada as a national system, but at present, five other provinces or territories are still moving forward with partial implementation. Yukon, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, and Quebec. In the end, we do not have a national system as intended. Panorama is not even being used province-wide here in BC, nor does it fit the current direction of integrated e-health systems. Looking now at our recommendations to the Ministry of Health. First, given the ongoing challenges with the system, we recommend an independent review to identify the most cost-effective integrated approach to meet the current and future needs of public health in BC. Second, we identified numerous deficiencies in the Ministry's management of the Panorama project and contract, from public health staff and users not being adequately engaged, to IBM being unable to deliver on the original contract, and the Ministry renegotiating the contract in a way that transferred financial risk from IBM onto BC taxpayers. As a result, we recommend the Ministry reviews both its project management and contract management practices to ensure future IT projects are managed in accordance with good practice. Finally, a complex national IT project like Panorama requires experienced project leaders with exceptional management skills. Therefore, we recommend the Ministry review its current leadership practices and develop a collaborative leadership strategy for future IT projects. This concludes our summary of this report. To read this report and our other publications, or for more information about our office, please visit our website at www.bcauditor.com.